This video is all about doing three battery tests on the Tesla Model 3, which has done 107,000 miles. Let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? So we're at Andy's house again. Hi Andy, how are we doing? Hi Jim, nice to see you mate. I still, so you see, we've still got the whole fleet yeah, uh, of vehicles. Still, um, haven't sold any of them like I promised my wife. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. Unfortunately I lost the video, but it was actually Andy that won the competition for the free uh, springs and suspension. So is it on the car already? It is on the car, so it is actually slightly lower than it was. Nice, nice. Because it, it being the stealth model, it looked a little higher because yeah. it didn't have the performance suspension. So um, I won Tim's competition, which included eye back lowering springs and um, performance dampers with about 50,000 miles on instead of 230,000 miles on. Yeah. Weirdly enough, when we took them off, they actually looked pretty good for 230,000 miles. Um, I'm, I'm, these are probably definitely enough. Is that what it's done now? Uh, to 229. Wow. Yeah, 229k now. Wow. Um, same battery, same motor still? Yeah, all, there we all go. the same. Showing 260 miles of range now, down from 310. So, you know, it's some degradation, but I guess, you know, for nearly getting off a quarter of a million miles now, it's not too <laughs> terrible. No loss in performance. No. Um, I can vouch for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've, we've, we've done some testing on a private road, haven't we? In Mexico, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> and um, so I've stuck the drag on it. I think my best 0-60 so far is 3.37 best cause about 11.6 hey, the 20 mile an hour increments all about one second yeah up to about 70 mile an hour so i think really still seems to be at full performance yeah so in terms of voltage and current it's still kicking it out it has lost a little bit of capacity but because i'm on the supercharger network it doesn't really matter i can go wherever i want i've taken it all around europe now and it's been fine nice well funnily enough we were talking about that on the yev podcast which check it out from now it's every sunday starting the 18th eight o'clock but we were discussing about there's no uh, George Kinghorn from Kinghorn Electric Vehicles said that there was no performance degradation on the Nissan Leaf, the taxi uh, vehicles they had that had done 130,000 miles. So it just goes to show that actually, yes, you know, ICE engines, they do degrade over time in terms of performance, but the electric motors doesn't really make any difference. It's really just about the battery and the degradation and the range. So yeah, just um, gonna keep running it and running it. It's an absolutely fantastic car. So, I mean, hopefully it will outlast me. Who knows? <laughs> We'll see. We'll we see. see. Yeah. So we, obviously we've been uh, doing a few tests um, already on uh, Rusty because uh, what we've got is not only have we got the uh, Scan My Tesla app, but we've also got the Ingenex, which actually tell us tells us the full nominal uh, capacity of the pack as well. Um, and the Tesla kind of gives us an idea. And what I'm going to do when I get home as well is I'm going to do the service mode uh, Tesla uh uh, battery kind of uh, check uh, but we found some really interesting results so um, shall we shall we jump in so yeah, if yeah, you jump in that, that side yeah. it's quite it's a lovely day today which is always good so excuse the rubbish in here it's, it's a lot cleaner in here than it was last time I came around I should have given you the hoover for that <laughs> because it, it's done 30,000 views now, isn't it? so yeah what we've got up here we've got the um, the important figures uh, DC charge total now 13,814 kilowatt hours. AC charge total, 22,375, so pretty good. Regen total nearly at 10,000. That's a hell of a lot of savings. That's about 10, 10 megawatt hours of regen. That's pretty decent for it's free, isn't it? pretty yeah. darn good. Um, but the important stuff here, we've got the nominal full pack, which is 68.9. Now, on my uh, actual Nginx app, which I am digging out now, where are you? So on the Nginx, uh, it actually says 68, 68.8. 68.8. Yeah. 68 there we go, 60, yeah, 68.8. So and it's, it's 0.1. Yeah, 0 0.1 difference. So it's weird, I think, that there is a difference, but yep. it feel, almost feels like they cal the calculations come to the same conclusion effectively. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is kind of good, yeah. I guess. And, th and then the idea was how do they calculate degradation after that, don't we? So. Um, I tapped, so I did the standard test on yours, yep. whereas I just flicked between mileage and percentage of battery, divided the current mileage um, by the by the 
Battery so, state divided by 100. Yeah. Okay. And I think yours came out at 282. Yeah. Which is, which is what it comes out at uh, when I charge it to 100%, which I don't normally do. It's a pretty rare occasion, but if I need to do a proper journey. So, yeah. So, basing it on a um, mileage of original mileage of 310, I think we came out at about 9% degradation. Yeah. And you, what, are you on 110,000 miles now, something like that? 107. 107,000. Yep. So, actually, really good. Um, now, on this calculation, if we divide the 68.8 or 68.9 by 75, mm. which is the full pack without the buffer, yep. you get to the, roughly the same result. So the eight, usable amount, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Eight or nine percent yep. um, degradation. If you divide it by the pack including the buffer, which is what they call the full pack here, which is 77.8, obviously it looks a bit worse. I think about yep. 12 or 13 percent. Yeah, it's about 12, 13. So we were interested to, and please whack it in the comments of how people are doing it. Um, and what, what you think is the most accurate. Me personally, I think it's more accurate to do it against the original total battery size, the 77.8, which gives me about 13% degradation, which, you know, which is pretty much what it was like last time, but there was something really interesting that I wanna uh, delve into in a second, uh, which was a, a pleasant surprise, rather than the 9%, because I, 13 is my lucky number anyway, but also, <laughs> but also because the fact that I think really it needs to be over the total battery size, um, but I'm interested to know what everybody thinks on that one. Um, but something that something that the uh, Ingenex doesn't show, but it is really, really handy, the fact that the Ingenex does show the uh, full nominal kilowatt hour, because you don't need to plug it into the uh, plug down there. So it's another benefit of the Ingenex. But I'm gonna be doing a Ingenex video soon, um, going into the detail and the pros and cons of that. So uh, yeah, keep, keep uh, yeah, keep, on tender hooks for that one. Um, but something that uh, Andy's- Selling balance there. Yeah, it's yeah. the selling balance. Now we looked back at the result last time and the selling balance on the uh, on the car and the temperature, what was it about? It's probably like eight, nine degrees. It's quite very, cold, Very, very cold, yeah. Um, the selling balance was like 15 different. 15 uh, millivolts, which probably isn't that bad. It's not that really. bad, yeah. no, but it was still a, mm, you know. And and so we should state the sell imbalance is, is the difference between the best sell and kind of the worst sell, if you know yeah. what I mean. So if you look at here, it keeps flicking between four and six millivolts, so there's obviously, it's it's reading live while we're talking. But your best sell at the minute is 3.884 and your worst sell is 3.880, so it's just changed there again. So it's gone wow. from 15 it's millivolts better. to four millivolts, <laughs> which wow. is tremendous. Now, we did have a theory about that, which mm. may have been because you've charged up to 100 recently. Obviously, everything tightens up yeah. and allows the BMS to recalculate things if you do occasionally charge it to 100%. Mm. Um, and obviously, what it does is it brings everything up as much as it can to be equal yeah. at 100%. So whether or not, I mean, we, we you haven't done it like today or anything, so... No, no, I did it last week and um, I did actually charge it quite slowly up to 100%. And I don't know if this makes any difference and people may laugh or they may be thinking, oh yeah, that's a good idea, Tim. But what I like to do is try and get it to, so it's 100% at the point where, first of all, my cheat rate finishes and I'm gone. So it's not static uh, at 100% for very long so because i believe that that's what uh hurts the battery so if that if that's helped things then then fantastic and just to be clear the it's currently got 173 uh miles in the range which is about 60 uh well, 61 yeah 62 half, which 61. is 61.6 percent at the moment so so that was really interesting um it would be very interesting based on these results now i know the fact that okay how is the tesla service mode uh, version of the battery degradation test. How is it going to see it? Is it going to be nearer to nine or is it going to be nearer to 13? So I think that'll be the ultimate test of uh, what it's going to look like. My guess, I bet, well, I'm, I'm sure I'm, it was I'm, worse. Gonna, I'm going to bet on nine. See, P purely because the mileage there kind of indicates that yeah. it's thinking nine. And, and of course, when you get to zero, it doesn't start going to negative mileage. So when you no. get to zero miles on here, like you say, you still got about three kilowatt hours left in the battery as an emergency reserve. Yeah. So I, I think that mileage doesn't take that into account. So I think I'm, I'm erring on the side that it's probably gonna say, but who knows until we, you do it, we won't know for sure. And do you know what? I would initially have said that because it kind of looks better when Tesla do it. Yeah. However, I'm pretty sure I, I vaguely remember and I've forgotten, I didn't watch it on the video. But uh, again, the video of the test where we showed how to connect and everything else, I'll put it up here uh, for last time we did it. Um, and also there was another one where we did the Tesla service mode, but this is the all-in-one version. So uh, yeah, because it did a really, really, you know, the response was really good, but I thought it would be 
it'd be good to do it now. It's done another 10,000 miles and it's warmer. Um, so yeah. But that is the other really interesting thing that um, we've noticed here. It's now saying nominal full pack agrees, the Engine X and the Scammer Tesla. Within point one of you know, within a hundred watt hours, yeah. they are saying the same thing, six eight point eight, six eight point nine, which has gone up since last we tested it, because I think it said sixty six, if I remember rightly. Yeah. On the last video. Oh, okay. So that does make me think I'll put it at the bottom bottom of the screen. I'll I'll double check and I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. So maybe that, that does is... make me think temperature is is mm. affecting the result because when you came here last time it was brass monkeys. It was. We've come here today and it's it's really hot. It is pretty hot. And uh, I didn't think that would 26 make twenty six degrees in the Tesla or just outside apparently. Yeah, so we're looking at about a twenty degree difference between the, the time we tested. What's that nominal remaining? Is that oh that's so that's just got multiplied left. by a state of yeah, charge. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah. Okay. So multiplied by point six two. Cool. But um I'm keen and on before I go home and thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your day to oh, doing me. this um, I'm gonna obviously go and do the Tesla version it's gonna make lots of noise and I'll probably mess it up again um, <laughs> but yeah so I just really want to go and see your Porsche again <laughs> uh, it's what? really dusty oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna photograph well it. if anyone hasn't watched that video <laughs> go back and watch the video of the Tesla powered 911 Porsche uh, really good video shows it in action and you know Andy's got a bit of history a bit of EV conversion uh, history Chris did a massive video on it I don't know if you saw it there was a Felton video on the whole history of the thing and the Electron show so if you I can't remember what channel it was on it was on some we massive don't, we don't need to worry about those channels <laughs> no 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 yeah I, I should it's just because no, it's, it's, Chris did it it's, um, it would have been on uh, out of spec out of spec that was it yeah, Felton yeah. promoted it through their thingy and uh, that, that gave there was loads of info I didn't know about it in there, but it okay. gave, yeah, it gave a bit of history behind, behind the Yeah, out of spec there. with Jerome. Jerome's been on the channel a few times before, so go and check that out as well. Um, you know, it's all part of the family, the EV conversion, EV modified family. It's all about trying to grow the scene, you know. So, so last awesome. thing I just wanted to say, mate, if that's all right, I was just looking at charge cycles, weren't we? Early 667. So, it's only 667. Not that many, so they're saying 1500, you can get so wow. just under three times the mileage here, which is going to put you in about a quarter of a million miles, I suppose. Which well, 60, 107 times, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking fast there. So it's not quite a third, so 1500. I think it's going to get, I think, I think that's a 300,000 plus uh, vehicle. It might, uh, I mean, it probably is. Well, well yours is doing fine and it's, you know, it's done nearly 230,000, mate. Yeah, 229 and change so, now. Yeah, so it's, cool. it's getting there. Yeah. Wicked. Thanks, mate. No and, worries, uh, mate. Yeah, yeah it's good going, to see you. Uh, for the next stage. Right, so it's been a few days, probably nearly a week actually, since I last did the test. Um, but the thing with the Tesla test, which I'm just about to do now, is it takes 24 hours. So I had to find a time where I wasn't using Rusty behind me, the Tesla, uh, for at least 24 hours. Now we've got to that point. So what we need to just double check, first of all, that the battery is under 50%, which it is, it's about 14%, that we've got our AC connection plugged in. Um, and see if I can remember how to do this now. So what we need to do is we press the software button down here and then we press and hold the model three button. As you can see, nearly 107,500. Press and hold model three. Then release, service. Enter. Uh, service mode should be enabled by service personnel to service yet yeah, we caution do not enable service on public roads no we're all good so enable there we go we know we're in service mode because it's got the red uh sort of border and it says service mode up there so load disk space free space to restore functionality how do you that's an interesting one i'll look that up later so we want to go to hv system i think it's that one isn't it there we go hv system Battery health was 86% last time. I remember that. Can you yeah, zoom in? Yeah. So we're going to do another health test. Last measured 165 days ago. Hopefully you can see that. So it was 165 days ago. It was 86%. Now, bear in mind, I've done a little bit of, bit of a journey since then. So what do we do again? Right signal. Press breakdown for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight pretty much go there we go so health test bang oh hang on a minute i'm not sure if it'll do it i'm gonna need to go back because i need to just double check that all the functionality all the everything was off 
everything had to be off last time. We'll turn the schedule. Turn that off. Controls. No. Sentry mode. Here we go. I want to make sure sentry mode's off. Just need to make sure everything is off. Sentry mode's off. Good. We need to make sure the cabin overheat protection is off. Which is fine now because we're in we're in the shade, so that should be cool. So I think we're good to go. So let's go back. Service mode. Here we go. So we're ready to start this. We're ready to start this party. Let's run it. Initiated. Easy when you know how. And easy when you completely and utterly effed it up last time, as you will see from my last health test video. We'll come back in 24 hours and we'll see if it's better than 86%, if it stayed the same. Hopefully it's not worse. Bearing in mind 165 days ago, uh, we're August the, my watch is dead ironic really um, it's about the 14th of August so it was a while ago and it was cold and I think that will make the difference so yeah let's see what the result is it stopped no more sound so probably about half an hour later something like that so uh, I'm interested to see what the battery uh, percentage is. Are you going to tell me? Screen's blank. It's not going to tell me. Okay, so what we'll do then, we'll look on the Tesla app. Let's have a look. It says it's in service mode and 3%. You see that? 3%. There we go. So, yeah. I wonder what he's doing. He's doing a battery test, of course. Right, a bit of an update on the battery test. So when I woke up, it was about 86%. It was about just after seven, quarter past seven. So it's still charging, charging all the way up to 100%. It's now at 100%. Um, so I'm guessing it's just gonna stay there. I'm not sure if it's finished, I doubt it, but let's have a quick look, because um, it's not 24 hours yet, and that was the mistake I made last time. But let's have a look. This car always seems to kind of come up with stuff that I'm just like what's going on here so I got in the car I can put the windows up and down but the screen's not coming on which is weird and I went on the app and I can't do any of the controls so maybe it is like properly not let me do anything not sure why maybe it's it is to do with the test obviously it's still plugged in it's still charging from what I can see so pfft. I guess I'll leave it a bit longer. I was a bit concerned because it's getting hot. I don't want the rear glass to break because the uh, cabin protection's not on. So I think I'll probably just leave a door open or something. But um, yeah, I guess I'll come back in an hour and see what happens. So we're now 26 hours into the battery test and we've I've had literally a, multiple hours, hours and hours and hours where the screen was just blank. You get in the car, you can wind down the windows, but I've just noticed when I was messing around with other batteries for Trike um, that the screen's come back on. So let's go and have a look at what's going on. So I'll show you the result. Shock horror. In the last 10,000 miles, there we go, we got zero measured zero days ago and it's still 86%, which if we compare that to the test that we've done, clearly, um tesla work out the uh battery health on the total battery so it'd be interesting to find out how people are getting their results is it on their available or is it on their um total so going by total tesla says 13 sorry 14 and the other test that we did is about 13. so good news is it hasn't changed the last 10,000 miles so happy days um I'm now going to go and take it for a spin because I'm not comfortable with the battery being at 98%. Um, so we'll take it for a bit of a razz.